Hello and welcome to a narrated video tour for 129 Eliza Ritchie Crescent in Halifax, Nova Scotia in the new subdivision of Rockingham South. So the reason why I'm starting the video tour in my truck today is because it's it's quite windy. It's a beautiful day outside, but it's quite windy. It is springtime here in Halifax and we do get a good amount of wind at this uh, this changing of the seasons. So I'm going to just review a few things inside my truck here, like I said, and then we'll jump outside. You won't be able to hear me very much when we go outside just because of the wind. And then we're going to be going inside the home and then you'll be able to hear me again. So this area, Rockham South, is a beautiful area, very close to uh, downtown Halifax. You're probably about a 15 minute drive, maybe 20 in traffic. You have executive homes, fully detached townhomes, semi-detached, all that good stuff in this area and also apartment buildings. So this is a um, this is a townhouse and it is the unit right here. It's an end unit. So these are executive homes, uh, really, really nice, carpet-free, lots of upgrades, nice open floor plans, nice and bright. And this one also has a view of the ocean. So you can see it right there. So that's Halifax Harbor towards Bedford Basin. So you're going to see some ocean views as well. It is fully finished on all three floors and it also has a single car garage around back. So it's uh, three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, fully finished, like I said, on all three floors. Now we've also had some storms here uh, with uh, with a good amount of wind and whatnot as the winter was leaving. And so you'll see here just at the top, there's a little bit of siding missing there. That's already in play of being fixed, but uh, it's, it's, uh, there's no reason not to start advertising and uh, and get our media done with our videos and whatnot. So, so what we'll do is we'll jump outside and then uh, we'll walk the property and then we'll go inside. Okay, so prepare for it to be windy. Okay, here we go. All right, so beautiful sunny day today. So like I said, great location, public transit, schools, shopping, not a, not a very long commute at all to get to downtown Halifax. Um, there's recreation facilities in the area. Just, just a great, great spot. So there's the front door, which we'll be going into in a moment. And there it is right up to the top. So here you are an end unit. So we'll just walk all the way around here. So it is heated with natural gas. You'll see that there, that goes to a heat pump. I'll show you that when we go inside. Now we're going to the back of the property. This is where your parking and your garage is. So there's your garage. There's a heat pump condenser right there. We'll talk about that when we go inside. There's your back deck. There's the back of the property. And it also has a walkout access just right here. Driveway there that's paved. And so you have a private lane right in the back, and that's how everybody gets to the back of these properties. All right, so let's go on to the front. We'll go inside. Okay, just around the corner here. All right, now you're going to be able to hear me better again. There, so you may not have heard some of that. So there is a private laneway at the back of these townhomes and that's how, where you get to the, the back of the property. Um, that's where you park your vehicle and you, you have your uh, single car garage and all that good stuff. Um, so that's what you just saw when we were outside. Um, the tenant is responsible for paying utilities. So uh, you have heat, natural gas and water. It is heated with a fully ducted heat pump, which is just awesome. So that's an ambient air fully ducted heat pump. So that gives you the most cost effective form of heating and air conditioning throughout the entire property. And that's again, the most uh, cost effective form of heating and air conditioning that you can get in the province of Nova Scotia. So that's, uh, that's awesome. Um, we also have some estimates on what power and the, and the natural gas is going to be costing the tenant. And that's in the ad itself. And then the uh, tenant is also responsible for cutting the grass and shoveling out the snow. Okay, so when we come inside, so we co we enter onto a landing here, so we have a nice tile. There's your doorway system, so lots of natural light, nice big window, so it's all solid surface flooring, so we have a hardwood floor. When we walk inside, it opens right up, so I'll just turn around here. We have a little sort of peekaboo area into the uh, living room. And again, that's where we just were, so there's the tile, hardwood staircase, and then it goes hardwood staircase up to the bedroom floor turn right around so we have a, um, a coat and shoe closet a half bath right there 
There's your control panels for the air exchanger and your heat pump and whatnot. And you have nice tall ceilings, crown molding, lots of upgrades. And then we have our dining room area. You have your kitchen. There you can start to see some of the water views at the back of the property. I'm standing on the hardwood floor now. And then towards the front of the property, once again, pot lights, crown molding, lots of upgrades. We have nice big windows, all vinyl windows facing the street. So we'll just turn right around. So we'll start, I'll show you the areas that we just spoke about. So there's your, your coats and shoes. So there's for your closet with a chair and a rail, hardwood floor right in there as well. Here's your half bath. So going from a hardwood floor to a tile, ceramic tile, the light is off, turn it back on. So there's your toilet, your vanity, your sink, your mirror, your light, and then your air exchanger and your exhaust fan, which is great. Close that up. So now we'll go, and most of the windows have uh, um, custom blinds. You'll see that I've got recoiled them all just so you can have some really good um, idea of what the views are. So here's the front of the living room. So there's the outside where we just were. And I'll turn right around and now you can get an idea from this vantage point of the floor plan, how open it is and all of the light that comes in. All right. So once again, beautiful hardwood floors. Walking towards the back of the property now. So you've got a couple of different chandeliers. So this is sort of a designated eating area here. And then we have another chandelier there. So another designated area there. But of course you can use the area however you wish. There's your first glimpse of the kitchen. So beautiful kitchen, upgraded kitchen, quartz countertops, upgraded appliances, a natural gas stove, upgraded uh, range hood. And uh, you also have an island there as well. Here's your sliding door going out to that raised rear deck that we saw when we were outside. And now you can see the water right over there, all over the, or, um, above those houses there. So there's your first glimpses of the water. So that's Halifax Harbor. And then towards in that direction, that's down towards Bedford Basin. So beautiful views. And I'll just turn right around. We're going to go into the kitchen in a moment. So again, you can get an idea of the floor plan from this perspective. And, more, and because it's a side unit or an end unit, then you have these nice side windows. So if you're an interior townhouse, you don't have those side windows. So that's, that's a great. And once again, your crown molding comes all the way along here as well with more pot lights. So going into the kitchen, so we're transitioning from a hardwood floor to a ceramic tile. There is your island with an overhang here. So a breakfast bar, lunch bar, people call it a couple of different things. And then you have some storage uh, in the island as well, and that's you can put to whatever you'd like there as, as well too. And a lot of people are going to put a microwave and that's why there's a power outlet right there. All right, so there's your fridge. You also have some as a pantry area here on the right-hand side. There's your uppers. There's another view of the water. And your lowers. It's a new Bosch uh, dishwasher that was recently installed. Your double stainless sink. There's your natural gas stove. And again, there's your upgraded fridge, your stove, range hood unit, your sink, and your dishwasher. Here's your view from the nice big vinyl window overlooking the sink. And we'll just turn right around so you can see what I see from inside the kitchen. So beautiful, beautiful main floor, and you can see all the natural light that uh, comes streaming in those nice big vinyl windows. So that's the main floor. Now we're going to be going upstairs to see the bedrooms and some bathrooms and the laundry is also upstairs. And all of the appliances that you're seeing in the video are included in the rent. So you have a hardwood staircase and it's opened right up to the top floor. So nice tall ceilings, lots of natural light coming in, facing the street. And again, where we just came from, now we're going upstairs to the second floor. So as soon as we Come to the top of the stairs. You have several bedrooms at the back, one of them being the master bedroom. You also have a full, um, kit or <laughs> full kitchen, full bathroom here. You have your third bedroom here facing the street. And again, where we just came from, open right up to the ceiling there. And you have your closet here for your washer and your dryer. So there's your front loader washer dryer all ready to go, nice and clean. You also have a shelf there for soaps and whatnot. Let's close those up. So we'll go into the first of the three bedrooms. 
So a great size bedroom. You could easily fit a king size bed in here, no problem, or any type of furniture. Nice big windows. I do have the, um, the blinds recoiled just to the top so you can see out the windows. So a similar view as the living room facing the street. And we'll just turn right around. And that's where we came from. And then you have a double closet. And once again, we're still on hardwood floors. So there's your closet there, nice big closet, multiple shelves and rails, organizers and whatnot, and the hardwood goes right into the closet area. Okay, so now we'll continue down the hallway going towards the back of the property. On our right hand side, we have another full bath, or a full bath, it's the first one that we've seen. So we're going from a hardwood floor to a tile. So there's your vanity sink, <laughs> there I am. There's your mirror, your light, your uh, air exchanger vent, your exhaust vent, there's your toilet and your acrylic one piece shower tub combo. Super easy to clean and maintain, so that's just awesome. Okay, so now we'll continue going towards the back of the home before we go in our second bedroom here. Open this up so you have a linen closet shelving right to the top. Now we're facing the back of the property. So this is the second bedroom. We also have another uh, blind that's recoiled. So there you can have a really great view of uh, Halifax Harbor there going towards Bedford. So Bedford, like I said, is just down that way and that's the ocean there. All right. So there we go. And we'll turn right around. That's where we came from. You have a single closet here, so we'll open it up so you can see. Hardwood all the way through, and there's your shelf and rail. Now we're gonna be going into the master suite, facing the back of the property with more beautiful views. Another custom blind that is recoiled just at the top there. There's more views of the water, beautiful. And you can see here that this is just sort of a catchment area for uh, Halifax water and drainage and whatnot for um, this part of the subdivision. Turn right around, you can see more uh, townhomes just being constructed, just right there. So again, these are all executive, um, fully detached homes that we're looking down on. Turn right around. Again, we're in the master bedroom now. And we're, beginning, we're going into the master uh, bathroom, the ensuite. So there's your vanity, your sink, your mirror, your light, exhaust fan, uh, air exchanger vent. You also have a side window. Again, one of the benef many benefits of being an end unit townhouse, nice big window there. Your toilet, we are a transitioned from the hardwood to the tile. And then we have a custom tiled shower with beautiful glass door right to the ceiling. And we also have two shower heads. So you've got one that's on a wand that you can see there and another one that's sort of a sunflower at the top. You just toggle back and forth between the two shower heads. So beautiful upgrade there. And then also we, here's another upgrade, big, big walk-in closet just off of your bathroom. So lots of shelves and organizers and rails. We're still on a tile floor now. So just a huge walk-in closet. There's the add a catch as well open the door so lots of space here lots of storage all right so now that is the top floor now we're going to be finishing off in the basement it is fully finished and that's where you have your um, your single car garage that we saw when we were outside look at that beautiful sunshine coming in okay back so there's the main entry where we started and you do have walkout access that I pointed to when we were outside in the basement here so more hardwood staircases going going down okay so again all solid surface flooring on this floor as well so that's where we just were coming down the staircase we have storage under the stairs here there's a, a den or an office or a rec room however you'd like to use it that's your utility room, so I'll open that up. That's your fully ducted heat pump, just an awesome upgrade there. This is your steel insulated door that is for your garage. 
That is a little foyer or a mudroom, so that's your walkout access to the backyard. We have uh, another coat closet here, and just tucked around the corner, right through that door, you have another full bathroom. So we'll just open up here the storage under the stairs. I'll show you all the areas that I just spoke about. So this is storage, it's great. It's nice and high there and it goes in and scoots to the left. That is your main municipal uh, water hookup. Now we'll be going into, again, people can use this in a variety of different ways, a, you know, a rec room, a den, an office, whatnot. So it does face the street, some nice big windows there and it also has custom cut blinds. You can see there, I, once again, I just have them recoiled. And this is a window that opens, it's a casement window there, and then that is a fixed pane of glass there. So natural light and fresh air coming in. So look, this looks to be either a laminate floor or a vinyl floor, but it is a solid surface. That's where we came from. And then you also have a closet in here as well. Just pop this open. And the uh, landlord has a dehumidifier that they're going to be allowing the tenants to use. So again, a full suite of appliances and a dehumidifier. You also have a, a um, a shelf and a rail there. The reason why a dehumidifier is a good idea in Nova Scotia is because as you saw we're literally living beside the ocean so in the summer months it can get quite uh, quite humid and damp so that dehumidifier running down here is going to be just a, a great thing to have. All right I'll also show you coat closet so there you go tile all the way through so there's your shelf and rail. Pivot on the other side of the hallway now. So this is the utility room. So there's your hot water tank and your fully ducted heat pump. There's all the gear. That's also the air exchanger. So fresh air in, stale air out. And you have all the different lines here for the natural gas. There's also a hookup for natural gas uh, barbecue just off of the rear deck. So there we go. Not a lot of places in Halifax have the natural gas, so that's a big upgrade. Okay. So now we have a full bath. So we have a three piece bath here. So tile all the way through as well. So you have your, uh, so this is the final bathroom. So this would be bathroom number four. So you have a pedestal sink. There's your toilet, your mirror, your light, your air exchanger vent. There's your exhaust vent for showering and you have a single acrylic shower all ready to go. So there's the last bathroom. And going through, towards the back of the house, we are now at the uh, at the end of the home at the back. So this is again tile all the way through, and this is your mud room area. So this is the walkout. So this is the door that we saw when we were outside. So there's the backyard. There's the condenser for the uh, the heat pump, your parking area, and whatnot. So that's the back of the house. So we'll just close that up. So you know, if you're coming home from a walk and uh, you know the kids are whatnot and you're a little bit messy you can certainly come in here it's it's a nice you know it's a bulletproof tile floor and, and it's just a great great thing to have okay so then we'll just end off going through the steel insulated door to the single car garage so there it is and we saw that when we were outside it also has a garage door opener just a little bit of debris from some renovations that were done and the siding that I mentioned um, at the front of the property that, that uh, blew off not that long ago in, uh, in a winter storm, that, that will be repaired. Okay, so there's your, um, your electrical panel, 200 amp service, everything that you need. It does have Bell already, Bell Fiber Op is here on site. So there you go. So a great end unit executive townhome in a great area with a really Functional floor plan, solid surface flooring throughout, upgraded kitchen, and uh, just, a, just a great spot. So thanks for watching. My name is Chris Ryan. I'm a property manager here in Halifax. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a showing, uh, my phone number is 902-830-4465. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.